What's up, man? I have never in my day. <laughs> Goodness, man. Hey guys, there are only 24 hours left to get 17 times entries to win either this SRT10 Viper truck or the Ducati Hyper Motard 1100. I know I said there was gonna be racing in this video, but while we were in Dallas, we got a text from Richard Rawlings inviting us over to the Gas Monkey Garage and who could turn down an offer like that? Trust me, Sunday's video is gonna be epic. Go check out the site. We've got all new hoodie designs live now. And like I said, there's only a few hours left to get 17 times entries, so don't miss it. It's just the six.com. And with that being said, let's hop into today's video. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are on, of course, our cross-country road trip that I've been talking about for like the last 20 uploads. We've been on the road for weeks, but today, we are on our last stop until we get home because we are in Dallas, Texas, baby. This is like my favorite place to be every time that we pull up. We definitely saved the best for last. Today, we're gonna be taking the GT350 and also the 720 out of the trailer here. We're gonna be going over to Gas Monkey Garage to go hang out with Richard Rawlings. You guys remember a long, 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 time ago five six years ago we were in the black car we went over to gas monkey garage we did a humongous burnout out front <laughs> One of my most popular videos we ever posted to the channel and today we're taking the gt350 with well over double the horsepower that we had that day and we're gonna try and replicate it That's you my friend are gonna have to pilot the gt350 today <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> Dallas. Dallas. we're gonna be the driving the 720 poe's gonna be driving the gt350 and we're gonna have to kind of make a little bit of a little bit of a trip around the town today that means the world to me that you trust me with that, like for real. Before we get out on the road, I know this is cliche and probably corny, but I don't even really care. Look at this. This is a few years of dedication, man. This is how we are pulling up doing shit now. Please take this as a token of motivation for you guys whenever I tell you that if you stay dedicated to anything, I don't care what it is, just stay devoted to it and give 100%. Watch what happens five years later. That's all. That's all I want to say. Please, God, just do it. Just try it. Five On years. that note, welcome to Poe Boys. Oh, <laughs> this yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy, sir. I will. I'll be careful. All righty. We're going to go grab some lunch real quick and then head over to Gas Monkey. This is like the first time I've ever... <laughs> he literally stalled it right off the bat. It's like a four-cylinder clutch. This is the easiest shit in the world. For real? Yeah, there. Okay. All right, go. You try first. I was just afraid to the only thing that's weird, you stole it again? You'll get it, you'll figure it out, it's easy. It out. There's no way he just stole it again. Bro, so insane. It's been years building that thing and this is the very first time that I'm just watching it roll. <laughs> Gas Monkey Garage. A few years back, we were over here in the black car, right there in that parking lot. We did one of the biggest burnouts on this channel, threw rubber all over the place. Fast forward a few years, the channel is well over a million subscribers, and we've kind of changed things a little bit since then. Instead of the 900 horsepower stock engine Mustang, we're now here with Lucifer, the 1500 horsepower twin turbo S550, and of course, the 720S. So it's kind of crazy that they have like a whole entire TV set just like in the middle of an industrial complex like this. Like you yeah. wouldn't expect it to be here at all. No. Damn how life changes, bro. I used to work for them. Oh, you worked for Southwest? Yeah, uh, I was a uh, programmer for Southwest. I did software development for them. That's why I did it uh, before I started YouTube, like right before. Damn, yeah. I flew Southwest as a kid. I, f I work for them. So guys, this is inside of the garage at Gas Monkey Garage. And right here behind me is their giveaway demon that they are giving away. As you guys saw in the intro of this video, we're giving away an SRT10 Viper truck. 
really crazy. But this here is definitely way faster and way wilder than what we are giving away, man. This is incredible. You mind if we pop the hood on this? That is sick. So as you guys can see, the car has already gotten a wrap on it. ACW took care of it. And of course, just to be super, super special, they went with the Dolph camo, so. Did you know that the demons are alcohol injected? <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that is not your typical Hellcat engine. That is not the Hellcat blower. So not only is this just your Demon, but this is the Demon 170, which is even more rare, even more powerful. This car is a legit weapon. Just a few years ago, we did a twin turbo supercharged Hellcat that was F8 green, so it was a color very similar to this. It was really, really cool, but this is just a different level. This is definitely way faster than the one that we did too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Notice the brakes too from factory. Those are sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice the carbon fiber. Did you notice that the wheels are carbon? Yeah. That is so sick. All my cars are nasty, bloody dust. They be like, uh, uh. I be smoking loud, but when we out, let's keep it hush, hush. I travel to we're building one of these right now too, but it doesn't look quite as good as this yet, but that's a 67 also. It looks like flip out headlights, no fender lights. So ours has a stick shift Ford Coyote engine in it. That is wild. Some of the cars in here are still the same, but a lot of them are definitely different. I recognize that, what is that? The first Hellcat prototype? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly okay. The one that used to be on the shelf. Yeah. Yep. I saw yeah. that still here. It was still in the same spot, I believe, last time too. Oh yeah, that's like a really famous one of his. This was in a movie, but I'm too young to remember. Thomas Crown Affair. Yeah, Thomas Crown Affair. Okay, okay. Yeah. This thing is so sick, dude. That's fucking an awful car. What, really? You want to sell it? Yes. <laughs> this is a Tesla. 36 oh batteries, Cascadia motion motor. No full way. Full RS. So we put the engine still rear mount and the batteries back here because that's where the old fuel cell used to be. So it's like we try to keep the weight, you know, kind of in the same spot. Dude, what so even? We custom made some, you know, the motor mounts, axles, center steer. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, everything. Cut the, uh, cut the top off. Everything we did all in-house. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Got. So the rear deck, we did a full panel. We did lots through the fins. We're working with XK Glow right now. Um, they're gonna make the fins on the side, like kind of just like a you know a soft glow. Yeah. And the faster you go, the brighter they get and go oh. in the car. You know, more throttle, so it's dude. Cool. What? And yeah. in the front, so it can trim down the headlights, slim them. It usually has a big face right here, like a big uh, lower lens. Oh, nice, and everything, dude. But teamed up with Boston, did some wheels for them. Oh, those wheels are sick. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. Oh my goodness. They're dirty as hell right now, but Brembo really, really race. cool. Dude, I can't wait to see that thing like actually done and do some testing with it. Yeah. Do some racing or some track times so or something. I, I think that we're gonna do this and that with Hoonigan. Oh my God. Yeah, so with it. Sick, dude. We wanna go play with a plaid or something. Yeah, just to see. I mean, the, you gotta die for the biggest one, you know, and see. Oh, but yeah. Obviously, it's gonna kill us off the bottom. It's all wheel drive. But I think from a dig that, dude, it's, it's something. That 812 is, was bad. We're rolling through, and I dropped a couple gears and mad it, right? Yeah. And the guy that was driving this, like, it's so funny because you don't hear anything but, like, the fucking asphalt <laughs> ripping up. <laughs> and it was just like, I don't know, we went from here to Richard's truck right now, and he was three or four car lengths gone. Seriously. He Good gets out and he's like, man. oh, it's kind of fast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that much more powerful, but it's 400 pounds lighter than the stock Tesla. Oh. I appreciate y'all for showing us everything back there. Seriously, that's really, really cool. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How are you? Nice, nice to up, see man. you. Again. How you doing, man? Good, good. Right on. What's hey. up, guys? Nice to meet you. Going? Richard, hey, Richard, Richard. Nice Richard. Nice <laughs> Very good. Appreciate you for letting us come back and see Fuck the place yeah, again. I was trying man. to get back. I ran to get my buddy. I didn't know it was going to be that much fucking. Oh, don't even worry about it at all. Don't even worry about it a bit, man. I came and saw that my rubber was still up here. I saw the demon in there too. That thing looks really, Feel really good after the wrap and everything. I heard it was making 1,025 horsepower now. Absolutely. We may do some more tricks while we're giving it away. We got with uh, the guys at Atlanta Custom Wraps. Oh, yeah. Uh, Young Dolph's people uh, with uh, PRE. PRE. Oh, yeah. And so we wrapped it up getting a little crazy and uh what have you it's pretty cool because we were able to secure number 58 right and the car serial number is 58. no way yeah, i did yeah. not know that the that's crazy. serial number is number 58. wow dude that's so, cool that's pretty bitch that is genuinely awesome bro yeah, oh, yeah we're pretty stoked on it i love the orange accents just a little bit yeah we kind of did our own demon monkey and right. uh 
what have you. Yeah. Uh, we're fixing to get started on this 78. I heard, and you guys are doing my favorite engine in that, I was told. Y'all are doing a Coyote engine. Gen 3 Coyote. Gen 3, supercharged, yeah. stick shift, too. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Get pretty that is the way it. to do it, too, if you're going to do it anyway. Oh, shit, my wife's calling. Oh, hey, you better answer that. You can go grab entries in for this car right here, and you could be taking home this Demon 170. That's pretty cool. I know a lot Nobody's of you guys are going to love this. No Plus, way. This has the $30,000 option for the carbon wheels. So yeah. I did see the carbon lifts on there. I got some footage of that. That's oh, unbelievable. Rad. Hopefully, the, whoever wins the skid mark doesn't realize what it is, and they want the money instead. And right. <laughs> I'll gladly give them the money. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see this one, though. Seriously, that's going to be ridiculously it's be nice. Uh, Gen 3 Coyote with a few extras, six speed manual. Yeah. Uh, Curry nine inch rear end locker, uh, big wheels, big brakes, static, no air ride. Really? But keep it just down low with me. Yeah, hell and yeah. Engine compartment and the cab interiors are to be all redone and super nice. Yeah. I'm leaving the outside like it is. Yeah, a little Absolutely. patina finish to it. Gives it a good classic feel to it. And then it. we're screwing around. We got that tank over there and we got our little uh, penguin thing. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> so, Dude. this is literally, uh, it's got a little two stroke motor in it and we just restored it. It does about 20 miles an hour on the street, maybe 25, and it does about eight miles an hour on the water. It's oh. totally amphibious. Uh-uh, yeah, yeah. no way, dude. So we did the, the crazy uh, Izetta with the 350 motor in it. Oh yeah. And we got the tank, and then we've got this Cushman we're doing, and I'm gonna build like a miniature uh, ramp trailer that holds all of them. Oh, wow. And what? haul them around with this uh, Nissan lowered pickup. Oh my god! I just think dude. it's funny because Hell it, yeah. you know Daffy, you know my sister slash uh, CMO. I like pissing off the D. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I mean, look at this thing. I don't know if you saw it. Yet. I saw the other one on the other side, but I have not seen over the hood no, of this. This, is like, this one's a little different than the other one. Small block Chevy in there. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's uh, great. That is so funny. Yeah, that definitely does not belong in there. That is wild. Does this it thing does hold traction? <laughs> It has traction. No, oh, yeah. Oh, traction. yeah. Really? Yeah. It moves then, I bet. Yeah, yeah. It'll scare you. It'll get on down the road. <laughs> that is so cool. Did they show you the uh, electric Ferrari? Yes. How that fucking is cool is that? Wicked, man. That's that the is... fastest Ferrari Testarossa ever in the history of the world. I guarantee it. I guarantee it as well. That thing sounded really, really wild. The amount How of batteries in there. What do you mean you sounded wild? Isn't it electric? It could be on right now. I don't even know. I can't even believe some of the stuff that they have over here, dude. This is truly just like insanely inspirational to be able to be here and see the stuff that they have going on, the operation of this size, and just to know how many crazy builds have been done right here in this vicinity is just so, so cool, dude. I hear a honk and honk. I think that means turn the camera on. You said, bad. you said you were trying to see how big a burnout it'll do? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, this is like a true 70s good times van. In 1977, a gentleman bought this van and had it done uh, to this spec, brand new. This spec? So hey, Richard, is that is that part of the spec? I think that's part of the spec. <laughs> he had it built and customized it in 77. This van has 11,000 original miles. Really? It's won oh almost goodness. every van award there is. This is all hand done. The gold inlay is hand done. Oh my God. Look at this wood grain. <laughs> the rope. Real rope. I did see that, yeah. You name it. It's unbelievable. That took a lot of imagination for sure. Well, I mean, even the inside of the doors are painted. Go ahead and step inside. <laughs> Take yourself into oh, a Oh, look at there. In pirate world. Oh my goodness, man. I would so shag a lady better. <laughs> <laughs> That is so sick. I have never in my day seen anything quite like that at all. Well, that's because you're too young to remember the 70s. Yeah, that's See, true. See, this old man right here, he's 70. He's 70. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> my goodness, man. How you doing? And that is what we like to see, dude. That's cool as hell. That man is still humble as can be, opening the gate for people after hours, taking pictures with everybody before, dude. That's, that's, that's thumbs up right there. I'm taking back. <laughs> that is hilarious. I have never. That thing's ratchet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, I didn't see that yet either. That truck is wicked, man. The JTX 4s well, and everything too. That to give away for uh, the Jake Paul fight. Ah, um, okay. And uh, so it was all done up. And then the lady that actually won uh, took the cash instead. Oh, she goes, okay. I can't drive a truck like that. I'll take the cash. Yeah, so that's cool. So I bought this because it was, um, 
I graduated high school in 87, and I was like, man, a black Corvette. Oh, and, yeah. You know, remember uh, LL Cool J with the <laughs> black Corvette cruising, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So this has 1,600 original miles on the original tires. No Every way. single thing on this car was original. And it's a fully loaded 87 TPI 350, whatever, you name yeah. it. It's probably the most expensive 87 Corvette in the world. And I paid 27.5 for it. What? That's, That's a lot. That's a lot? Believe it or not, I, I've done some research and I've never seen an 87 Corvette. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. But thinking about the mileage and the condition, that seems to be pretty decent. But this is the shittiest Corvette ever made. But at the same time, it's kind of cool. So <laughs> I'm kind of torn right now between do I like rip the top of the motor off, stick some cool shit on that uh, yeah. uh, original block and change the wheels and brakes and stick some exhaust uh -huh. on it. Or do I leave it like it is? Yo, I get that. I think we're gonna see a twin turbo V12 Mercedes do donuts. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at him, looked down, turned to actually troll off, and then glasses come off. Made us. You gotta make enough power to do a burn. Oh, definitely makes enough power. Somebody Google how to make the SL65 get rid of traction. Turn off all the nannies. Yeah. Swinging that thing for holding yeah, him back too. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> okay, allegedly we can do a burnout in this car. This has never been done before in this car. After we did the Motec, I don't even know how to turn traction control off completely. So we're gonna try it, figure it out. But I think it's gonna go pretty cool. Well, allegedly we're about to do a burnout in this thing. So I'm gonna turn traction control to nine, which is the max off that we can. That should be completely off of everything. I have never since doing this Motec system on this car done a burnout. So this should be really, really interesting, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's cutting throttle. <laughs> it's still traction. Either that or it's just gripping way hard. It's because the Motec technically is trying to keep it from spinning. So still. I have to figure out how to turn that off entirely. Everybody got traction control problems today. For real. Nobody can turn their traction control <laughs> off again. <laughs> That you want to cut some water on the ground? <laughs> you know? I swear he's on the phone with Jeff trying to figure out how to get traction control off. <laughs> hey Jeff, as soon as the as soon as the tires spin, it's just cutting immediately. No? Hell no. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna do it with the with the Motec. With the Motec and sticky tires. You know. It should though. I just don't know why or how to get it to turn off all the way. Oh well, I guess we'll have to try it again later. Y'all can see that treat, I guess, because Art told me to pull the skip on now. Oh really? He said he told him to pull this one out. He said we're in for a treat, I guess. Okay. And yeah. They build that is right Darn there. Straight.
that these are not just for show. No, they these were are born real too. deal. If I build Let's a car, it freaking goes. Right, nice Let's see. Oh yeah. You want to like and slosh him? Oh, <laughs> the problem, you know what our problem was? What's that? We didn't even have any gases. We didn't have any gases. <laughs> as soon as we were leaning, the gas was going away. Yeah. Damn, it looks so good, dude. Yeah, man. Golly. Seeing that thing out and actually doing something's crazy. Golly, brother, <laughs> what is this? It's beautiful is what it is. Everything yeah. about this is awesome. Well, damn, man. I know that there's a way on the computer to turn off Motex traction control entirely. I just hate that I couldn't figure it out. It's getting dark here. That truck went through a burnout. The GT350 wouldn't even hardly do a burnout. And the Mercedes SL65 AMG would hardly even do a burnout, too. I don't know what is cursing us today, but one way or another, we have had a whole lot of fun over here at Gas Monkey, man. These guys always show out like crazy every single time that we show up. Huge shout out, Gas Monkey Garage. I really hate that we didn't have a car on the stock ECU. We had too smart of an ECU that it legitimately keeps cutting the car's power entirely. But if you guys saw what I saw just now, that thing even dumping the clutch was trying to take off so that has me really excited to actually take that car drag racing because if it was going to break something like an axle that would have just done it i guarantee you that if we took that gt350 drag racing that thing would be crazy what are we doing right now? <laughs> bro the gt350 might do good from a dig race yeah, it might be a good it drag car the front tires it really was, yeah it was really trying to get it, it really wanted to do it the tires we were, were staying in place and it would go up and in okay. yeah part of the problem is this is concrete yeah i have good tires on that car so it was trying to actually like yeah, take are, off these are you right here yeah, at 69 one more car degrees. coming out here real quick. One more car coming out. Oh shit! One more? What you'll, car? You'll hear, you'll hear it start up. And then Look at his face. Once it hear, you'll hear it start up. And once oh, it starts shit. up, just try to guess what it is. Okay. It oh is. my gosh. Dude, oh, so it's around the corner. We haven't seen it. It's on the other side of the building. In the parking lot. Oh shit. So Ricky is a old racer with me, I didn't and he understands. That it's not about beauty, it's just about being built. So this car does not look like what it can do. So just okay. be ready. Okay. It's I just heard that. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> what? So the funny part is is since Ricky started, since I brought him up here, he's been dying to come and burn out up here. And Richard oh, has said no. What? And a while ago, Daphne goes, Sure. <laughs> I was like, you just see Ricky go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you, man. Oh, I see a headlight. Nope, that's not that headlight. I thought that was it. I was like, she's rougher than I thought. <laughs> oh, that's a bad girl. Help us out. Thing like that. We used to listen to the cassettes. It's the same it one, good. huh? It was fun. Go right there! Woo! You actually did the best donuts of the day. I think did it. I think did it. Oh, yeah. All right, man. I appreciate you a ton. Seriously, thank you. All right, bye. So that was Jeff at Hellhorse Performance, and unfortunately, we do have to remap the ECU for eight and nine to actually turn trash control off completely because right now the car is still set up to be a smidgen safe to keep us alive. So even at nine, it's not gonna spin out completely. Dude, <laughs> this dude, it compares front wheel speed to rear wheel speed. So even if we had it at nine, it only will let it slip a certain amount before it kills it. So that's what happened. Hey, nice see you again. Be careful. Good drive, that was Thanks, cool. Have a good see one. See you later, man. Nice. 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 See you later. That was nice. the best six cylinder burnout I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh yeah, y'all have a good night. All right, well, we are headed out from here to go find some races for the night. Tonight's Friday night in Dallas, which means that we've got a whole lot of stuff that we're going to be probably easily able to find tonight. 
We just got to get out there to it. You know oh, what I'm saying? Ooh. Ain't nothing to it but to do it at this point. Huge shout out to Gas Monkey Garage and Richard Rawlings for letting us stop by and hanging out. It was really cool to meet him and actually talk and chop it up a little bit. Really cool dude, man. But that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, next video, we are taking these two whips out. <laughs>